Thank you very much, Jamie Comer. Congratulations to you, Jamie, upon being chosen to be the Master of Ceremonies here at the 132nd Annual Fancy Farm Picnic. To Bishop William Medley and Father Darrell Venters, pastor of the historic St. Jerome Catholic Church here in Fancy Farm, it's good to be with you again. Wonderful to honor the late Father Walter Hancock. He was a favorite of mine. 20 years, the priest, the, the pastor at St. Jerome Church, he died in March. You know, it never did rain on the picnic program while he was, father, while he was the, <laughs> the pastor of this church. He was known to be one close to the Lord, and it didn't rain to, to wipe out the picnic. It didn't rain today either, except in the morning, and that was great. Let me say uh, congratulations to Mark and Lori Wilson, the co-chair of the political program again this year. And, and today is special for my wife, Wilden and me. We not only saw Joyce Toon honored, but we saw our close friends, the Whitnells, Charles and Faye Whitnell receiving the uh, Pioneer Award. This is my 46, that's right, my 46 fancy farm picnic. I have many fond memories, I have many fond memories of the fancy farm picnic. My first picnic here was in 1952, 50, 1962, 50 years ago, after serving in the military in the U.S. Air Force. Five years later, at age 29, I won the Democratic Party primary election for first district state senator. I turned 30 on July the 7th and had no opposition from a Republican in the November 1967 general election. In 1966, at the Fancy Farm picnic, I still recall the three men, that's right, the three men that walked around with me, introducing me to people and asking them to vote for me. They were Les Wilson, the father of Harold and Bob Wilson, and also uh, the gran uh, grandfather of, excuse me, the <laughs> Les Wilson was the father of Harold Wilson, sitting right back here, the, right, right behind him. He was the grandfather of Mark and Bob Wilson, and Shorty Thomas was the other one, the grandfather of Lori Wilson and Jeannie Stamper. And now I ask you to, Give me the chance to represent you one more time as your state senator. And I want to thank, I want to thank my supporters out there for being respectful of Mr. Humphreys when he spoke. Thanks for being respectful to him and giving him a chance to be heard. Uh, the seven counties alphabetically are Callaway, Carlisle, Fulton Graves, Hickman, Line, and Trigg. I am running for state senator because the people of Western Kentucky need someone who will go to Frankfurt and work with the Steve Bashir administration for progress in our area. Surely you, surely you realize that the area which has received the most attention the past decades has been the Golden Triangle of Louisville, Lexington, and Northern Kentucky. In our area of far Western Kentucky, many families are hurting. The unemployment rate is very high. In Fulton County, the unemployment rate is 23%, Kentucky's highest. My mother's home count of Carlisle, just over about four miles where she was born and raised, has no industry, no industry in Carlisle County. Hickman County has one small industry. As a longtime resident of Mayfield and Graves County, I've seen an exodus of General Tyre, Ingersoll Rand, and the clothing factories of Merritt Curley and Andover. Callaway, Line and Trigg counties will receive my full attention as to their needs and goals. Fortunately, their unemployment rates are lower than ours, excuse me, than others. Trigg County, listen up Trigg County, Trigg County. You need Governor Bashir's assistance in replacing their lar your largest industry, which moved away from Katie's. I'm talking about Johnson Controls. He's the man that can make the decision. What an honor it will be to again represent Murray State University. Of course, I'll work diligently for Murray State as I did as their state senator and congressman. That's the alma mater of my wife, Wilda, and my mother and father. You know, Wilda and I have attended many commencement addresses in the past few years. 
how sad that most of our graduates have to go to another area of Kentucky or another state to find a decent job. Commissioner Comer, as you know, our farmers, our farmers are hurting a lot. This year's drought has been devastating to our area's farmers. You and Fred Nestor, please help our farmers in far western Kentucky. The high unemployment rate in western Kentucky is not just numbers, it's people. My neighbors and yours, they're in, your, your neighbors, we're in trouble. Economic development is the number one issue in this area, the people who are responsible for our economic development. One way to make the economy better in our area is to bring industry and add jobs is to be heard. Yes, to be heard by the one man who can make the difference and bring an industry to this area, and that's Governor Steve Bashir. <clears throat> I too am pro-life, have been all the time I was a congressman. I ask for your support in my campaign as I seek again to be your state senator. Thank you.